welcome. I'm Meredith. This is the Oasis Spiritual Empowerment Tarot. All about tarot and oracle and empowering you. And today we have an unboxing from Kickstarter of Eerie Encounters, a cryptid oracle card deck. I have a few cryptid decks already, um, but they're so much fun. So we have this fabulous sticker, Attract Amazing Things. Which, I mean, what a great message, right? And... Look how pretty this is. Um, now, before we get into this, I want to say, make sure you stick around to the end, because at the end of this video, I am going to be showing you some of the wonderful things that will be included in the upcoming giveaway. And in fact, the giveaway is going to start with this video. So I'll give you all the details and show you some of the fabulous items at the end of this. But now let's get in. So this is a really nice box. Um, now this is by Eamon McNamee. It's very, very small print. So I apologize um, if I didn't get that right. Now, I wanna say, I think I got a little confused with the Kickstarter um, because I thought I was ordering like all of the decks and I don't think I did. Um, so I guess this was released originally and then there were cards added to it. And I think that's what I got. But there was also like a like a bonus pack to add on, and I don't think I got that, so I'm gonna have to see if I can buy that now. Um, but so we have a little, uh, you know, just a little flip book. What is an oracle deck? How to use the deck? Um, and it does kind of show us how the cards are configured. So we have the name of the creature with the location, the date, I guess, probably the date first scene, maybe. Um, theme, meditation, relationship advice, and general guidance at the bottom. So, and you can see that for relationship, we have the heart. For the theme, we have, I don't know, I think it's a dot. I, see, it's really hard to see. I think it, hopefully it'll be easier on the card. So yeah, so we have the original 27 cards, and then we have additional cards. Um, but I don't think I got, it's like the Appalachian uh, bonus. Um, but look how, oh, I love these backs. These are super fabulous. And I will link in the description uh, the creator site so you can find them for more. And these are much easier to read on the card. So yay. So what was it? It was obviously the heart was relationship. I think the star is, is like advice. Yeah, general guidance for the star. And then that symbol, that first symbol, if it will focus, is the theme or meditation. Okay, so let us get into it. Um I'll show you the size. So I'd say dead on standard tarot. Um, card suck is really nice. Um, it's like a, it feels kind of like a playing card. Um, you know, it's not linen, it's not glossy. It just feels kind of like, um, maybe like playing card stock. Playing card card stock. Um, which feels quite nice. So we have the Mothman. 1966 Point Pleasant and it says prepare for calamity for relationship pursue with all speed and uh, I think the general guidance I say I don't remember now I think that's what it was seek the abandoned which I love I think that's a fabulous message now I'm not going to read every card I think you can read them Wow, look at that. The Flatwoods Monster is from Braxton County, West Virginia. Um, 
And so here we have a very specific date and time. Now, obviously, you're not getting information about these creatures, but you could easily Google them, you know. Um, Bigfoot. Cut them off. Lizard man of scape or swamp. Ah, I love that. What's that thudding noise or thumping noise? Go after them, but watch the claws. That's the relationship. And go after the truth, or it will go after you. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh my god. The Enfield Horror. Is that from the Enfield Haunting? I think so, 1973. There is, if you're interested in that, um, there's a series, I think, on Prime. That's pretty good. Um, you know, it's it's not... You know, they definitely took some liberties based on what I know of the case, but... The Loch Ness Monster. The Snallygaster. That is a fabulous name. 1909. Frederick, Maryland. That's not too far from me. Oh, the Wendigo. The Hopkinsville Goblins. This is a really interesting case. If you don't know anything about that, Google that. It's really, it's really interesting. The Loveland Frogman. <laughs> the skunk ape. The Fook monster. Fook, Arkansas. How cute is he, though? I love, I love this art style. It's really just so charming. And it's very different from my other cryptid decks. And in fact, maybe I'll do... Well, you know what? I Very soon, I'm going to do um, my my whole updated collection video um it's definitely going to be in in different segments because i have a lot of decks and i will split up oracle from tarot um but i think i'm going to do it by theme too so i think i'll just end up making like a cryptid video anyway um you know it may maybe a little expanded uh so cryptids and something else but we'll see so chupacabra The Pascagouli Abductors. A lot of these happened the year I was born. I'm just saying. <laughs> the Van Meter Visitor. Oh, I love this. You are bulletproof. Be the beacon of light to those around you. Scream it like you mean it. It's fabulous. Sinkhole Sam. Jersey Devil. Now, I'll tell you, this video is coming up. So, um, a while back I mentioned the Jersey Devil. Uh, I am from New Jersey, in case you can't tell by my fabulous accent. But, um, so I have some stories about the Jersey Devil. So that video is coming up very soon. Um, in fact, it'll be one of the next couple uploads. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Oh, I don't know this one. Yativio from Venezuela. The Dark Watchers. Oh, the Fresno Nightcrawlers. Have you seen those videos? They're so creepy. The Space Brains. I have not heard about those either. 
So that's fun. I have some that I definitely will need to Google. The Beast of Bray Road. Bat Squatch. I haven't heard about that either. It's from Washington, Pierce County. I love, I just love the art though. It's so cute. And I love, you know what these feel like? Um, kind of like headlines. You know those, I don't even think they have them anymore. Maybe they do. What was it? Like the Inquirer and stuff like those rag magazines that would be in, uh, you know, at the, at the food store, like by the checkout. And they'd always have these big, outrageous front page things. You know, like goat man and alien give birth to a baby. You know what I'm talking about? Like those kinds of things. <laughs> There's something about this layout that reminds me of that, and I love it. I think it's fabulous. The Maryland Goat Man. So I am very close to Maryland. Honey Island Swamp Monster. The Dover Demon. I just, I really like this artwork. Mongolian Death Worm. Metal Man of Falkville. I think I've heard about this, but it's, you know, kind of far away in my memory. Fanged Humanoids of Kofu. I don't think I know that one. Ahul the Death Bat. That's fabulous. Alien Meccano Mummy. I don't know that either. From North Dakota. 1995. I have not heard about that at all. Oh, Black Eyed Kids, of course. Giant Space Clams. I've not heard about those either. The Ho Dog. Oh, man. This is stinking adorable. I am just saying. If I encountered that, I would have to take it home. He's so cute. <laughs> the Connecticut Melon Heads. There's another one I vaguely remember. The Yucca Man. The Pig Man Canock Chase. From 1993. I wonder where they got... Remember, for for those who are around my age, remember that Seinfeld episode with Pigman and Kramer? I wonder if that's where they got it, because this is from 1993. I don't remember ever hearing about it. But that's so funny. I, I feel like maybe that's where it came from. The White Screamer. Momo, the Missouri Monster. Now, I'm going to tell you, I do wish the the fonts were a little larger. I can read them. It's a little, it, it's a little stretch. These are fine. It's just, you know. But, I mean, the reality is, do I need to read that every time? Nah. You know, but it's interesting. The Crawfordsville Monster. So like this one, a little, little bit of a, a strain. Oh, Lordy. Stores Jujuret, and I'm sure I mispronounce that. Uh, but he's from Sweden. And he's got like a cat face. That's so cute. The Jackalope. I love Jackalopes.
Tuscumbia space penguins. What? I've never heard about this. Wait, where is the... Uh, say, I can't really read that. Maybe when I watch this back, I'll be able to read it on camera. I hope. Otherwise, I'll have to pull out magnifying glass. Never heard about them. Marfa ghost lights. I just really love the way this was done. I really, really do. The Cabagon. You look sad. Oh, well, yeah. Message, unclear future anxiety. For romance, despite a longing for an, an encounter, sometimes the gulf is too great. And then the other message, we can only guess what is below the surface. Oh my goodness. The Kinula humanoid. He looks like the gingerbread man with a creepy face. <laughs> I I don't know about this either. The Mogulon monster. The mud mermaids. All right, Sharon, if you're watching, do you know anything about mud mermaids? From Indiana? I've never heard. I'm definitely going to have to Google this. The white monsters. The winged beings of Bluestone Walk. See, this is much better. I wish I were all kind of... You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be that big, but the hat man oh. that's fabulous, fabulous depiction, you know. Voltar the examiner, I'm not familiar with that one either. The troll of Imjarvi, <laughs> he's so stinking cute. Sam the Sandown Clown. Okay, let's give these a shuffle. And then I'll pick one and we'll, you know, just read from what's on the card. Um, shuffle, beautiful. Again, it feels like, like a playing card cardstock, which is fabulous. You know, it makes them very uh, easy to shuffle, very comfortable, you know, to hold and to lay the cards out. Um... I definitely want the uh, expanded bonus pack, whatever. Um, and, and again, that's just my fault for not reading more thoroughly, I guess. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to order it. So let's pick one. This one. Yeah, if it's one I already read, we'll just pick another one. Because I did read, I read a few. <gasps> nope. Okay, so this Alien Meccano Mummy, it's from Bismarck, North Dakota, 1995. So, switcheroo is a message for love, reach inside them. And then the other, so I forget, so what's, uh, so the theme was switcheroo. The general guidance is under the skin our memories are still with us, informing us of what to do now. That's, I mean, that's a great message. So let me lay these out so you can have a look and get a feel for how these might read for you. I think that these might pair really nicely with other uh, cryptid oracles. Um, I love the way it feels like it's like a magazine cover that, you know... I, I don't know if that was the intent, but that's how it feels for me. Um, and I super love it. I love the illustrations. I love the way they feel. Definitely need to get the expansion pack or whatever. Um, this is super, super charming. And I think this could go with a lot of decks. There's just something about it. Um, Energy-wise, it feels very neutral. 
Yeah, so I think I love that so much. That is the cutest thing ever. I kind of want that as a print. Um, yeah, I think because it feels so neutral, I think that'll help it really, really tie in with other decks. Like, let me see. Let's, let's do one that's really off the wall for this. Just to see if maybe I'm totally wrong. I want to try two pairs that are totally, totally different. Because I just want to see how it feels. Oh, I'm dropping my guys. I really should put them somewhere else, but I like them there. So let's maybe do it like this. So first, let's take a look. And this is... Um, Pensive Path Tarot by Reese Marin. I just kind of feel like, like this is nothing at all like these, right? It's so different. But I kind of feel like it's just nice together. I know it's weird. I know it's weird. But it just kind of works for me. And maybe it wouldn't for you, because I do understand it's, like, so different. But I got to tell you, I like these. I think it's because this is so neutral to me. Um, even though the art style is so wildly dissimilar. And, of course, sometimes that's nice, right? Yeah, I love these together. All right, I want to show you one more, because this next deck is so different from this. Um... But again, I feel like they're going to pair really well. So let's take a super quick look. So this is the Fairy Tarot, and it's by Natalie Hertz. And, um, I mean, I guess, you know, at, at least we have fairies, so we're kind of in a similar sort of genre, you know, in a way. You know, we're talking about um, atypical creatures, but the artwork so so different. But oh, sorry, I I do use reverses. I love. I love the way this looks. I really do. And this deck, can I tell you? This is an older deck, and this deck is so much fun. I can't even. Um, and it was such a nice surprise. Uh, because I just love it more than I expected. But, um, yeah, I love these together. I really do. I think they're fabulous. So let me know what you think, because I know that these are both kind of weird mixes. But I like them together quite a bit. Yeah. It's just... I don't know, there's something about it. It's just so charming and lovely. And you know, when I do the video to show my different cryptid decks, I'm going to pair them too because I ha actually haven't done that. And I feel like that would be really interesting to just kind of see how they read together, how they kind of play off each other. If they do, maybe they don't. You know, they might be horrible together. Um, but I think it's something that would be fun to explore. So... Oops. Again, this is by... Let me see if I can find the name maybe a little larger. Yeah, so this is by Eamon McNamee. Um, and I will definitely link... Oh, well, here's the website too. It's bedlamartsandgoods.com. But I will link it. I am hoping... I did, I did peek in on it... Um, before I made the video, basically trying to see, because I was expecting like two decks, um, because I thought I got that bonus, but I didn't. Um, and that was just, again, my fault. Um, so I, I went on the site to see if it was available yet. And it's not, but I just received this. So, you know, often with Kickstarters, they have to all get out before they get posted for sale. So hopefully this deck, the, uh, the add-on, all that, will be available on the site soon. That's my hope. So now, don't go, because let's talk about 
giveaways. So, this is the video where you are going to want to respond if you want to be entered in the giveaway. So here's the deal. You just have to be a subscriber, and if you want to be entered, all you got to do is in the comments, put a rainbow emoji, because it is Pride Month, and if, if you want a particular sort of um, intention or theme with the prize, put it next to the rainbow. For example, if you're like, yeah, I really want to work on manifesting, put a rainbow and then say manifesting or um, self-care, whatever it is. Because here's the deal. Um, well, let me, let me start by showing you some of the stuff that will be in the giveaway box. First thing is a brand new uh, deck. So there's going to be a, a video soon of a walkthrough of the Magical Botanical Oracle by Maxine Miller and Christopher Penzak. So I ordered this, but I ordered two. Not actually on purpose, but when I received both, I thought, you know what? How great would this be to add to the giveaway? So that's what we're doing. Also included will be the other Kintaro, and this is by Ciolo Thompson. So um, this deck comes with a huge guidebook. And just really briefly, let me show you some of the cards. Um, so I wanted to show you like a big box of how this would be packaged and everything, but I'm going to need a bigger box than I have. So I actually have to go to the post office probably to buy a box. Um, now listen, I don't care where you live. If you're overseas, that is absolutely fine. As long as the mail will deliver to you, I'm happy to do it. Don't worry about postage. I don't care. I want everybody to be able to participate. Okay. Um, so there's that. And then there's another deck. Um, and these were not really used. They flipped through, maybe shuffled once or twice. That's about it. So this is the Transient Light Tarot by Ari Weissner. So, and again, I mean, they're pretty pristine. Um, even though they're not, you know, they have been opened. Um, the backs are really nice. The card stock feels lovely, for, especially for mass markup. Um, right, because this was, yeah, Hay House. Um, love the card stock, I'm just saying. But, um, so anyway, in addition to these decks, I'm also going to include some crystals based on what you, uh, want your theme to be or what feels right for you. Um, if, here's the thing, if, uh, when you put in the comments with, with your rainbow and your theme, if you choose to add one, you don't have to, um, also make a note if you don't want anything scented, because I know some people are sensitive. Um, but if you don't put it, I will add maybe some candles or some incense. You know, we'll say, I want to try to just kind of intuit like the right box for you. So like, it's definitely going to have these decks. Um, it's definitely going to have other goodies. Um, there will definitely be some crystals, but the crystals are going to be dependent on either what you put in the comment or just what I feel. And there might even be some homemade special stuff for you. So it, I want it to be like this whole wonderful experience for you. That's my plan. So again, this is the video you want to put your comment if you want to be included. Um, I'm going to give this about a week, maybe till, um, like the end of next weekend. So today, I don't even know what today is. Today is June 10th. So we're going to run this until June 18th, which is Father's Day in, in the U.S. Um, and then on that day, 
I'm going to kind of add everybody who's been in the comments and we're going to do a video with a, a drawing. And then after that, you have a week to respond if you are picked. If you don't respond in a week, I'm going to pick another name. So basically, you're just going to email me and I'll just confirm that it's really you and I'll get your address and send your giveaway to you. So um, if you have any questions about that, uh, just let me know in the comments. I'm happy to reply. If, uh, yeah, if, if there's anything else that you want to communicate to me, let me know. And I may end up even throwing in another deck. We'll see. We'll see. But you at least get in those plus other lovely goodies. And, um, yeah, and, and we'll see. Uh, but I, I'm so excited to send this out. So make sure you comment. And until next time, just be wonderful to yourself. Be really, really wonderful because you deserve the best, only the best, all the best. And that is my wish for you.